Okay, and welcome again to Math 20. We're going to talk about how we would set up and solve a proportion. So if I had the proportion A over 3 equals 10 over 15. Now remember proportions are just equivalent fractions. This time, I don't know what the numerator on the A is, although you might be able to see that if I reduced the fraction 10 fifteenths, 5 would go into either one, and that would reduce down to 2 thirds, which shows me that A has to be equal to 2. That's the number that would give me an equivalent fraction here. But if I didn't notice that right away, I could use the idea of the cross products principle. So the cross products would be 15 times A, which I don't know what that is, is equal to 3 times 10. So I get 15A equals 30. Now A is just a placeholder, 15 times some number gives us 30. This is actually algebra. So what number times 15 gives us 30? You might already know that that's 2, and if you didn't, you could divide because that's the opposite of multiplying. A equals 15 goes into 30 two times. Let's say I wanted to use a word problem. So a lot of these coming up are going to be some word problems here. Um, what's a good one? Okay, a scale on a map is given that one fourth inch is equal to three miles. Okay, so when I have a map, three miles, I can't put three miles on the map, so I shrink it down. That's what we call scale. So this is the scale on a map. Okay. Now, they're asking me to find, there is an actual, on the map, okay, they measured it, point A to point B, this distance on the map is equal to 4 inches. So I want to set up a proportion in order to solve. Now, since here is my scale, I can write this as a ratio. For every one-fourth of an inch, that's equal to three miles. And you might even replace this with a decimal. You could do that as well, 0.25. Now, to make a proportion, I'm going to make an equivalent fraction. Since I already know, oops, that's not minutes, that's miles. Okay, since I already know that on my map, there's the map and there's the actual distance. On the map, it's four inches. I don't know how many miles it is. So X is going to be the number of miles. Now you might also see that for every inch, you get four of these quarters, right? And so we could do the math that way. But remember that we can always, once we set up a proportion, we're going to ignore the units, and we're just going to cross multiply. So I have one quarter times x, 0.25x or one or one quarter x equals three times four, three times four, which is twelve. So 0.25x equals twelve. How do I get x by itself? Well, the same way I did on the last one. I'm going to divide by a quarter, okay, or here I got 12. It's the same thing as multiplying both sides by 4, because I, here I have 1 fourth times 4 is going to give me 1. So I'm going to get the same answer either way. 12 divided by 0.25 equals 48. So here we would get x equals 48, 48 miles. And you'll notice that's the same thing if I do 12 times 4, I get 48 as well. So that means there's 48 miles is the same thing as that 4 inches on the map, okay, using the scale. So 
we'll be able to do several more problems. Sorry, I realized I was off the page just there. So that's the work that I did either one, using one quarter or knowing that one quarter is the same thing as 0.25. That, that's another way of, of looking at the problem. You're going to get the same exact answer.